Hello guys, today we are going to see how to make this model in Rhino 3D. Actually it's a model which I saw on Parametric Architecture Instagram page. Uh, let's go into the... So now let's go into the model. So I'm just opening Rhino 6. So we are going into the top view, uh, view. so now I am drawing a rectangle and the uh, size is like it's just a proportional size okay it's not a perfect or something else like so I am just using curve interpolate points okay so I am just it's asking start of the curve so I am just turning off center because it's literally annoying me that uh, my center is automatically selected the center of the rectangle so I am just drawing a free like drawing a pattern like a plan kind of stuff okay so we are we need to draw a plan first of all to get the model right so i'm just drawing the plan so it's like you, you should when you go into the command it's like it will ask next 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 point next point when you press the enter the it will be done okay so i'm just connecting it so i'm just pressing enter so now when I select I can see the control points if you can't just use control F10 and F11 for turning on and off now I am adjusting the control points using gumball I need the structure to be inside the rectangle so only I just draw the rectangle for reference purpose so that I could get the form inside the rectangle at least uh, or else 90% of form it's like will be inside the rectangle so I am just literally adjusting the wireframe according to that using gumball so gumball will give you a smooth move and a smooth adjustment so if you don't know what is gumball the gumball is the uh, the center one that blue and red that tricolor thing is said to be a gumball okay it's like this gumball we can see in every uh, modeling software like uh, 3ds max zbrush blender we can see this gumball it's a universal tool so i'm just adjusting control points according to which I need so I am literally I am literally trying to get this shape so it's like shape is depends on your uh, it's not compulsion okay we should only get this shape I am so only saying the technique so I am just drawing a circle and I am drawing another circle out like offsetting so the circle should not exceed and it should be in uh, should be uh, drawn inside the form okay so I am drawing another circle and I'm using the circle command again. You can always off you can use offset command. So it's on your wish. Okay, I'm just using circle. So I'm trying to ping the center. <coughs> <coughs> so now I'm again editing the outer form according to the circle. So like offsetting like amoeba. You can see that amoeba shape. So I'm just drawing the circle. So these are like kind of wireframe which we, we will use in the model. So we are just drawing it in plan itself. So I am just adjusting the outer form according to the uh, circle which I drawn inside. So I am just adjusting a little bit. Uh, so it's like you should always be it's like it will come right. You will always adjust the wireframes according to you can't fix the wireframe at the first time. You should like you should redo redo redo. You used to get many redos especially in model makings especially in 3d model make digital 3d model making you used to get a lot of redos okay so i don't need that uh, rectangle so i just deleted it okay. now i'm turning into perspective tab so i'm just using loft so i'm just using uh now i am just uh, raising up the surface which I created now I'm just double clicking the perspective tab so I'm just raising a little bit because I need to be uh, concerned with this because the height literally matters a lot so that only the proportions and the heights are literally so I'm just uh, having a look at the image so that I could uh, guess the image so in this you can see the circle one and the height so we need the circle one so so I'm so 
I am using rebuild command. So it's like rebuilding surface is creating a new boundary box uh, control points for the surface. So with the control point, you can adjust the surface as you wish. So I'm just selecting the control points. So if you think the selecting the control points is too tough, you can change the mode to shader and you can select the control points, which will be easy. So you can see I uh, by mistakenly I selected the surface. Uh, so if you feel so uncomfortable, you can change the mode to shader where the surface won't be selected by simply touching it. So for me, it's like uh, I used to do with this mode. It's like guys, I feel comfortable with this mode. So it depends on your working comfort. Okay. So I'm just uh, bringing the control points down. So I need like a, a drop off, like a drop in the center. So I'm just selecting the control points again. I need a little bit. So I'm just doing that for so for all the so that it will get a parallel. So I'm just doing if you see carefully, I'm just doing the drop off exactly parallel to this circle, which I drawn below. So I need a drop off exactly to the center, not below or further. OK, so I'm just doing it. The same for this one also because we have three circles sorry i moved my mouse So now I'm give, uh, switching to top effective view. So now I'm just keeping into share ghosted mode so that I could see the wireframe as well as the shades. So I'm using trim command. You know, trim will work and like those also. I'm using trim command. I'm trimming the, uh, like the surface with the reference of that circle. So we used to get a model like this. So now I'm just selecting the inner circle and using extend. Okay, sorry, I'm using extrude curve and I'm just extruding uh, with the distance like I'm just changing to front tab so that I could give a minimum distance with the reference to the height of the form which I created before. So I'm just having another look. I'm just having a look. Okay, so now we should need the connectivity. So I should connect the extruded cylinder and the top. So I'm using blend curve. Sorry, I'm using, oh, I'm, I'm going to use blend surface. So I'm just selecting the first line and second line. So it will give you a floral pattern stuff. So it just blends you and you can adjust according to your wish with the slider. So it's like the radius of the center and you can use, you can change the tangency position curvature according to your wish. It gives you, it's like literally connects two lines and create a surface it's like blends two edges and creates a surface okay so i'm just adjusting the blend for all the three circles which i created so now i got the pattern so now i'm pressing okay So now uh, actually the outer surface has been done, but we, we need that uh, grid shape slide. So I'm just turning into, I'm just selecting it. And I'm just using mirror command. So I'm getting a top one, a mirror command. Now I'm just uh, lowering with, uh, with the help of gumball. So now I'm just using untrim. So when I untrim this, uh, I'm just selecting the circle. So it will like it will untrim the surface which you trimmed before only with the uh, selection. So I'm just untrimming. So uh, it's like it's a usual shape. So the untrimmed uh, will work very nice in many models. So I'm using blend surface again and I'm just joining the both the lines so 
it gives me a caps like finish it gives me a smooth uh, continuity it's like it gives me a smooth continuity of the edges see so it will be really nice the blend curve command and the counter command are really useful in many models so now we got the model that is we got the 3d model of the shape but we don't need in this shape so when you see down there it's like hello every model is hello so i'm just selecting all the models i mean i'm just selecting the model and using join command so the model has been joined now i'm going to use cap so that the bottom portion will be covered with the surface cap so see we don't don't see any hello anymore it's like it's a kind of 3d now so so it's a kind of 3d model right now so it's a closed share figure so now i'm going to change to rendered mode so now you can see see we got the model but we didn't get the finish like what they got what they we are going to so we need uh, that grid pattern so i'm going to use a uh, rectangle for reference purpose this rectangle is not going to do anything it's just for reference purpose i'm just drawing the rectangle now i'm going to use contour command okay so c o n so i'm going to use contour command so i'm i just select them so i'm just snapping at 45 degree if you don't know how to get that 45 degree exactly while you know those snapping use this option like go to option uh, model layering and in that model layering you can see that option o snap with the degree so you can change the degree according to your wish okay so i'm using contour again it's asking to contour plan i'm is asking the distance so so this line is uh, this is also too close so i am just changing contour i am giving a 45 degree snap and it's asking distance between the contours so i am using contour it's asking select the object now it's asking to the perpendicular plane so it's like scale i'm just give the distance between the contour line is just i'm giving 0.75 and i'm just changing the selections you see the contour which has been created has been in the selection so i'm just changing it to another layer so that i don't i don't feel it so messy because i'm going to create another contour on the opposite direction so that i i can't select it similar so i'm using i'm just using layer one uh, i'm just right clicking and select object now i'm using extrude so i'm just selecting all the lines and using extrude command so with a distance of 0.5 on 45 degree axis so the extrusion has been done so when i off the main model you can see the extrusion has been done so now i should do this on the opposite side so that we could get the cross section as we shown in the image So I'm using contour. So it's just saying to select the object. For I'm using contour again, but I'm using in the different 45 degree. That is opposite angle. So I'm getting the contour lines in this axis. Contour is a command where you can generate n number of lines, like in a in a specified in a irregular shape. So I got the axis, and I just change the lines into the layer which I need. So I'm just using select object so that the object which is in in that layer will be selected. I'm using extrude command again with the I with the value I'm just extruding with the value of zero point zero five. The the extrusion has been done. So I'm just turning on only the extrusion part. So now we got the model. So I'm just keeping it render mode so that you could get a clear view. So finally we got the model. So I'm just turning the color. So it looks awkward. So now we got the model which we need, which I showed in the image. So this is the model. 
so finally we got so if you want to get a close one you can give the value between the lines like when you do when you create a generate n number of lines using counter command that time you can give a less value so it depends so you can change according to your creativity so we are going to post n number of videos so so actually we got the model so we are going to post n number of videos on grasshopper and rhino uh, on every friday weekly at a weekly one video for sure so stay tuned watch more content about rhino and grasshopper new new techniques everything on this on our youtube channel share among your friends it will be useful for your friends also to learn rhino and it's a platform where you can learn rhino just for free thank you for watching tada have a nice day bye bye